All right, guys, here's a new plane I built. This is a multiplex Funjet clone. I've always wanted a Funjet, and I decided to finally make a clone of it. Um, this one has a 30-inch wingspan. The real one has a 31-inch wingspan. But I just took uh, some overhead pictures that were given by the manufacturer and figured out the dimensions and scaled it down to a 30-inch wingspan. Um, this uh, white foam here is Dollar Tree foam, uh, foam board and I'm using a KFM4 airfoil, which I think you can see there. Um, and then I made like a little fuselage thing on here out of pink foam, which is on the bottom too. And then I'm using a Microjet version three back here with a six by four prop, 30 amp ESC, and a 1550 uh, Genzase battery up front here, three cell. And this extended fuselage here, it's nice because if you want to put a bigger motor in the back, then you can uh, put a bigger battery or move a battery up and down to get the center of gravity correct on here. Um, I haven't flown this yet. I'm going to do it right now. And I'll, if it works out well, I'll put the uh, specs in the uh, info section below. All right, guys, so this is the Maiden. And immediately just has tons of power. It's just gone. I'm doing some slower passes here, just feeling out the plane really handles nicely in the air not adding too much speed yet this thing really handles great here you can see I'm starting to add a lot of speed there's a roll really tight fast rolls with this thing it also slows down nicely it's perfect in a park there's another really fast pass Fast passes are a little bit farther away from myself just because this thing gets going so quickly I don't want to go right next to me. It scares me. <laughs> Here you can see this is really fast compared to the trees out there. It's really zipping. Really nice passing to see the plane in the air. I really like that video there. Another roll. And here, I mean, I don't think a beginner could do this, but like if you're at least an intermediate, you can do these, you know, keep it tight and slow inside. You got to be careful flying this thing because it needs a lot of speed. Another nice pass there. This thing really looks nice in the air. This thing is a ton of fun, and you can definitely slow it down and catch it. Just finished flying this thing and I definitely recommend this plane. I'll put all the specs below. This plane is really fast. I mean, it's just got this Microjet version three on here with a six by four prop, but this thing is really, really fast up there. Um, at first it was a little bit pitchy, so I had to put on some uh, dual rates and like decrease the throws on the uh, elevator control. But once I did that, this thing was really, really nice uh, up in the sky, really fast. This is definitely the fastest plane that I've ever flown. Um, it also slows down nicely. I think you guys saw see some footage there. Uh, really slows down nicely. I would not recommend this for a beginner though. Uh, it is it's a little bit squirrely in the air. You gotta know what you're doing. It's only got about 200, just over 200 square inches of wing area. So you gotta keep it moving up there, or else it'll stall. Uh, it'll just drop out of the sky. So you gotta be careful with that. But I'll put all the specs below. It's definitely an easy build, really fun little flyer. I'm going to definitely be keeping this plane around in the future. All right, thanks for watching.